We continue our coverage now of the school shooting in Oxford, Michigan this afternoon. A 15-year-old opened fire, killing three and injuring eight others. It is a situation schools prepare for. It is something we talk to our kids about, but we hope never happens. However, we all know that the odds are at some point that they may face a threat like so many did today. Jeff Slotnick is an expert in security risk management and the CEO of Cetricon. He has years of experience consulting schools and also companies on prevention. Jeff, you and I have talked uh, many times before on very similar incidents, and here we are again tonight. There were clearly some warning signs hearing from those girls moments ago. Other parents concerned did not want to send their kids to school today because of a potential threat. What does that tell you from a security standpoint? Well, you know, from a security standpoint, what it what it informs me is that, uh, you know, there was something obviously that was giving concern that should have been paid attention to. There was a deputy on campus that intervened. At that point, though, police can only do so much. Security is about prevention. So what steps should schools be taking when there is a threat, when there are concerns raised, when there is chatter that something should or could happen? Well, you know, that that's, uh, you know, a, a great point. You know, we, we have fire drills and we do fire planning, but we don't assign the same level of concern to physical security. Uh, you know, physical security requirements are different for every school. And security is proactive, whereas law enforcement is reactive. You know, most fire regulation is mandated. You know, you have to have so many fire extinguishers, you have to have so many sprinklers, you have to have so many alarms. But we don't do the same thing for physical security or have physical security standards for schools. And I think this is something that's very important in order to uh, prepare and prevent these situations from occurring. How does an individual get access to the school? Uh, how does an individual come in the front door? Uh, are multiple doors open? Are areas unsecure? Uh, what screening is occurring? You know, we screen to go into football stadiums. We screen to go into multiple venues. We screen to get into a, to an airport. You know, uh, uh, we need to be seriously considering how we screen people for entrance into schools. Well, but in this case, police are saying it was a student who was supposed to be there uh, who allegedly carried out this attack. Right, but they got the firearm from somewhere and they brought the firearm into the school. Mm -hmm. So what you other, know, I'm not saying, go ahead. I'm not saying every school should have a magnetometer, but during times of increased threat, maybe it is a time to consider uh, advanced measures and checking bags and things like that uh, before you, you allow people into the protected environment. You and I uh, spoke earlier. Talk to me about kind of the bigger picture and the layers of security in terms of having a system and a process of somebody who is monitoring social media accounts, technology that's out there. Sure. What are some of the resources that schools and districts can be using now and in the future? Well, you know, there's all kinds of great software out there that is available for monitoring social media. Uh, it doesn't necessarily require a human to be on social media physically monitoring things. Uh, there are softwares that allow you to uh, conduct specific searches on keywords, different platforms, you know, uh, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, they can all be monitored for those keywords. And when those keywords are used, or when keywords are used in conjunction with one another, for example, in this case, uh, firearm shooter, uh, you know, uh, and Oxford, and they come up in the same search string, then that gives an alert and people have the ability to look deeper into what that threat might be based on information obtained from social media. There's always more that we could be doing. We appreciate you coming on with some of your insight. And I also want to mention watching some of these videos of these kids uh, doing what they did today, the staff inside that school, a lot of people's training kicked in. They did the right thing. And many of them crawled out of a window and ran. Jeff, uh, I appreciate you coming on as always. Thank you for your time.
Absolutely. Yeah. The kids did amazing. And, and it's obvious there's been a lot of training going on. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Those drills pay off. All right, Jeff. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.